Hi guys, today we're gonna shoot another video to find out um, how much is in it. In this case, um, we have here all desktop memory cards. So um, we have uh, 10 in each package here and we're gonna first weigh them. I want to come to one kilogram. Uh, we're using here European measurements. Um, I know that most of my viewers are in the United States uh, and Canada. Um, I will do the calculations uh, at the end of the video uh, in pounds for you. So that'd be easier. So um, let's get started. We have a kitchen scale here that we're going to use. We have 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, Yes, with 53 uh, pieces of old memory, <coughs> old desktop memory, uh, we have here one kilogram. So we're going to start from here. Um, what we're going to do next, uh, we're going to cut this uh, gold fingers and we're going to wait another time to see uh, how much this uh, gold fingers even weigh. That's very useful information for your gold recovery. Um, let's uh, do that first and we'll continue with the gold fingers. So we're back with the middle section of this video uh, by cutting all desktop memory. Um, we are, I'm just going to show you how to cut the gold fingers out of the uh, memory cards. Uh, as you see I already uh, cut a few pieces. Um, here's a whole bunch, I think uh, 10 or 15 pieces. Uh, here are um, the blank uh, gold fingers. But we're gonna use um, the next step of this video to recover the the gold uh, from it. Um, the time to cut the gold fingers from a memory card, uh, I would say, it takes uh, about um, ten seconds uh, to cut uh, one memory card. Uh, that's an average of six in a minute and and about 50 60 degrees per hour um, that's very useful information so that you can use your uh, that in your calculations um, I'm not gonna cut all of this in this middle part of this video I'm just demonstrating how to do that um, as you see we are using uh, metal cutting uh, scissors it's going pretty fast and pretty easy I just, you just have to make sure to uh, buy the right scissors and uh, take one after another. Um, I think you're gonna be uh, gonna do it slowly. That these things, these gold fingers, don't fly away after you cut them off. Um, further um, in the next section of this video, I'm gonna show you. Uh, you already see how fast it goes. I'm going to show you how to uh, actually recover the gold from these gold fingers. Um, we're going to use um, uh, three types of solutions. Uh, one solution we're going to use uh, hydrochloric or muriatic acid, which uh, I personally don't think it will work. Um, the second uh, solution will be nitric acid and uh, I hope it will work. Um, I already tried it, it works uh, really really good. I hope it will uh, work pretty good on this video too. And to accelerate the process uh, we will add um, another um, little bit of hydrogen peroxide to completely remove the gold uh, that we can uh, measure after that and we can do our calculation for one kilogram gold fingers to uh, recover the gold and also you uh, have your calculations too. So we're gonna continue, I'm gonna continue cut these gold fingers up and um, when I'm ready I'm gonna soak it into the solution and that will be the, the next um, and the continuous end part of this video. So we managed to cut uh, all the gold fingers from um, 
from all the 53 memory cards um, that you have here 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and another three piece um, as you see is completely cut off um, I already waited and I must say we have a pretty amazing results uh, because from one kilogram um, if I if I weighed it just right I have exactly 100 grams <laughs> I don't know how I did that but um, that's a complete 198 with my broken scale 99 and we have a complete uh, exactly 100 grams uh, what's true I cut that pretty small um, I think uh, that's why it's just like 10% uh, uh, the gold fingers from the memory cards so you can uh, just do your calculations for one kilogram you have with a small cut um, approximately on average 10% that is uh, 100 grams so I wanted that to show you these are the uh, gold fingers on a 53 memory cards uh, I think the right thing to do at this moment in time is to to break that in little pieces because uh, we're gonna we're gonna start to actually recovering process and uh, if the pieces are really small then you don't have to use that much um, a solution um, as I told you before uh, in one case I'm gonna try it with um, with, with uh, hydrogen uh, chloride uh, muriatic acid and another solution will be then nitric acid and to um, accelerate the reaction we will add a little um, hydrogen peroxide so I'm gonna break that in uh, little pieces and I'm gonna come back right away with the actually recovering uh, measuring weighing process and after that we are gonna make the calculations uh, for you guys even in um, American measurements in pounds um, and in ounces so stay tuned uh, till end of this video So we're outside and uh, we're going to begin with our experiment. Uh, this is um, hydrochloric acid, it's muriatic acid and that's nitric acid and if it's necess necessary we will add a little bit hydrogen peroxide to um, accelerate the reaction. I'm gonna, just going to put in a few pieces to see how it works. That's in hydrochloric acid and that's and just like nitric acid, uh, both of them uh, should dissolve the base materials, which is uh, copper. But um, as I as I told you before, I don't think um, hydrogen chloride will work. We have 35% hydrogen chloride, and we have uh, uh, 50. Uh, 55 56 percent nitric acid here and as you can see both of them uh, work but I think it's just a question of time uh, which one um, is dissolving the base materials better and then we can recover the gold um, I don't think um, yeah we we'll, can try to put a little hydrogen peroxide to see how it works no oh, it's try it's starting to dissolve the base materials and hydrochloric acid too the solution is getting yellow that's a good sign so we're gonna decide 
we're gonna wait about an hour um, to see which one gives us the best results and afterwards we're gonna decide which solution we're gonna use to, to process the, the whole 100 grams from the whole kilo 53 piece from uh, old memory cards so in about two minutes we have to came back um, to show you what the reaction is uh, on the left we have uh, the nitric acid on the right we have the hydrochloric acid um, as we can see it really works the nitric acid solution became becomes um, blue that means that's dissolving um, the copper the hydrogen chloride works too so we just uh, have to wait uh, till re the reaction ends so that we recover the gold fingers and decide uh, which which procedure is the best for recovering and the best uh, doesn't mean that is um, that's easy it also means that's uh, working fast because if you want to recover you also have to have um, a fast process and don't wait um, days long until you get uh, your gold out so in about an hour we are back with the results um, we have here on the left side the solution of nitric acid and on the right side the hydrochloric acid um, as we see it's still reacting um, I think the better results you have with nitric acid you see the little gold flakes already dissolved in the nitric acid with a little bit hydrogen peroxide um, the hydrochloric acid um, also worked but uh, we don't have that much of a uh, good result as we have here on the left side with the nitric acid so I think um, we're gonna go with the whole processing uh, gold processing with nitric acid uh, you just have to be careful if you are doing such experiments with hydrochloric and nitric acid so that you don't mix them well then if you do, you will have aquaregia and uh, that will dissolve all your gold and you have a really complicated process to recover the gold afterwards. So um, we are done uh, with our experiment. I think we are gonna, we're gonna wait a little bit longer to get uh, fully completely um, the gold washed up from the gold fingers and we are already filtering I'm I'm gonna wash this um, hydrochloric acid off and yeah we're gonna begin with the whole 100 grams of gold fingers to recover the gold and uh, weigh it after that and calculate the results so that's the solution with the nitric acid as we see it works pretty well now we're gonna wait and maybe we can we're gonna put a little bit more nitric acid in it uh, it's working pretty well because we got um, a pretty large surface and it's uh, becoming it's getting uh, pretty much oxygen out of the air uh, that's why uh, you see that reacting so harshly we're gonna wait and um, then wash it up and go forwards with our results So as you see it's already working, we have uh, already have some gold, um, we're gonna let that react for another hour and so we're gonna accelerate the reaction with another hydrogen, another little bit of hydrogen peroxide, we're gonna mix it together, yes, 
there's reacting and there we get our gold there we have our gold working really really fast So we're already filtering uh, the solution, uh, there you see the whole gold on the side. We have to wash that all, all up. Um, the remaining pieces with uh, gold on it, uh, we put in a new solution. So that we get uh, all the gold off. There is some, there is some. So we're gonna wait and collect all the gold, we're gonna filter all that material, all that solution and at the end we'll, where we have all the gold, uh, we're gonna dry it and weigh it. So that's the uh, so-called filtering solution. That's another nitric acid with hydrogen peroxide in it. And we're working uh, to get all the gold off from our fingers. We have we had a little bit problems uh, because some of the fingers um, didn't have uh, copper uh, for base material. There were some uh, white uh, material. I don't know what it is, but I'm pretty sure that we're gonna get all off with um, with this accelerating uh, process uh, with hydrogen peroxide that's how it looks when it filters and that's how it looks when it works yeah we're gonna wait a little bit more to get to filter this solution too so guys we're back with the third and last part of our video uh, as you see we have uh, completely dried out the gold flakes uh, we also have a little bit uh, green impurities in it that uh, came from the paint uh, from the uh, memory cards. Um, for first, I think I have to apologize. I, uh, I told you in the second part of the video that if you cut um, uh, six fingers in a minute, that's 60 in an hour. Well, um, I have to correct. If you, if you cut six fingers in a minute, that's 60 in 10 minutes. But doesn't mind. Um, we have here um, we had here 53 piece of uh, memory cards. Uh, that's about one kilo, a 35 ounce. Um, and as I told, we had pretty astonishing results with 100 grams gold fingers. Exactly 100 grams. That's the 10 percent from the gold fingers. The 3.5 ounce, uh, and we used. 35% uh, muriatic acid and um, uh, just to try it um, we didn't mix it and 56% uh, nitric acid that's, that was above a half liter that's 17 fluid ounce and we got uh, uh, 0.7 grams that's 0 0.025 ounce of uh, this dried out gold flakes um, um, as I calculated as you see up we have 0.68% uh, of a weight um, from uh, 3.5 ounces total gold fingers. It took it about. It took us about um, a couple of hours to um, to wash it off and to filter it uh, to dry it completely out. Um, completely out. Uh, it took us a couple of days. Uh, so um, I don't think it's worth the time and the chemi and the chemicals to um, to strip this uh, whole uh, gold fingers up. You know, we just did it for demonstrational purposes. Um, I hope you enjoyed our video and uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you like our videos, uh, look at our channel. Um, please don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. And until next time. Thank you.